Okay, we've applied uh, 10 megahertz frequency onto this uh, 5314 counter. And uh, it's coming from uh, this rubidium uh, frequency standard, which right now is in the unlock state. It was just turned on and it's heating up. And uh, it's also sweeping through the frequencies slowly going above and below, but in a moment it's going to lock, and when it does, I will have 10 megahertz uh, with 10 to the minus 8th uh, accuracy. So we should be good uh, to the 100 millionth place, uh, not just the 10, 1 in 10 million, we'll be good uh, one more decimal place, so we just have to wait. Uh, right now she is on its way down in the sweep um, we just swept from 10 megahertz on the counter to, towards the uh, less than 10 megahertz side we are still uh, still an unlocked state what we're going to do is we're going to watch the uh, the lock here the uh, rubidium standard uses an L Pro 101. I've got it in this uh, Dell expansion cabinet. I'm utilizing a power supply in here. And uh, it has a built-in fan and a few other little extras. I, I'm waiting on some components to show up for me to be able to completely finish it with the uh, connectors. And in the meantime, I'm just feeding the, uh, the connectors through the outside of the box. And Make, oh, there we just went into lock. So we should now have 10 megahertz exactly going on this unit. And, uh, and we've just turned this unit on. It hasn't had any time to heat up. So its own local oscillator will be, will be off and, and warming. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and adjust it, and then I'll I'll come back. I'm going to leave it on overnight. I'll try this one. I'm going to leave it on overnight to warm up. me like it would be exactly 10 megahertz we will uh, there. we'll let this thing warm up overnight and then I'll check it again tomorrow and uh, we'll know how uh, how we stand when I'm done this thing will have been calibrated with a rubidium standard all right thank you Okay, so it's, uh, this is Friday, it's a day later, been approximately uh, 20 hours since last we were here, and uh, the unit has been warming up the whole time, I, uh, I have the uh, rubidium uh, frequency standard in lock right now, and we see that we are about 14 hertz out, and I'm going to try and adjust that down. Alright, there we go. We've got that adjusted now to exactly uh, 10 megahertz to the third decimal point on here. And if I raise her up, there's 10 megahertz with two decimal points. So that's 10,000 kilohertz. And that would be 10 megahertz, assuming that the uh, leading one is theirs. <clears throat> so we've got it. Now, let's see how we do with our uh, PTS 500 here.
All right, the 500 is also reading. Let's see how close we are. Yeah, we're dead on. That's good. Okay. So let's... Uh, we're going to change the frequency on this PTS and observe it on, this, on the uh, meter. So we are at 10 meg. Here's 20. 30, 40, 50. The cycle or so in the uh, the last digit is probably due to the PTS because it it has to uh, multiply the 10 megahertz base frequency up in order to generate these other frequencies. And although it's accurate, it's not perfect. Okay, there's 60 megahertz. 70. 80. Ninety, ninety-nine, ninety-nine point nine. So actually, it's nine point nine nine megahertz, right? Or no, ninety-nine point nine. That's right. All right, ninety-nine point nine nine. Point nine nine nine. We're just having fun right now. All right, ninety nine point nine 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 nine. All right, but we are reading very accurately up to the hundred megahertz, and it is calibrated using the rubidium standard. So, folks, we have a winner. Good luck in your bidding.